Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today I I was looking for some the some of these um, Australian indigenous architecture. So all these tent or hut. Um, so I'm thinking maybe we can model something like like this. So like this. Uh, this is maybe maybe not this one. Uh, maybe something like this. So I did this okay so and let's let's do it okay so what we're going to do is um we're going to just create a, a pattern based family so let's go let's do this one pattern based family so we just need to create a, a panel so this panel will be roughly this shape. So uh, let me just first change the grid size. So uh, maybe horizontal, maybe 300, and vertical, maybe um, 900, for example. OK, so it will be this shape. So let me just TL. So and <clears throat> so. OK, so first, if we place a panel, so because we want them to overlap so um, to each other, so we need to offset some of the points a little bit. And also, we need, we want, we want, uh, we need to make this one slightly bigger so it will cover you know, the edge. Um, OK, so it will be something like, so if I do a screenshot of this, so it will be something like this. Okay, so longer and wider. Okay, so and also this face will go up. So you know, uh, so yeah. So when it plays onto, so imagine there's another panel under there, under here. So it will, this panel will cover the one. Uh, so this one. Okay, so um, okay, so let's do it. So very. Uh, um, Simple. So just place some points. Okay. So set work plan. Pick the vertical. So vertical points. Or vertical. Oh, sorry. Vertical work plan and place it the point. Another one. Another one. And another one. Okay. So now select this point. So drag it this way. So let's say uh, maybe negative uh, fifty. Okay. So this one. And this one will be 50. Okay, so and this one will be negative 50 as well. So you can create a parameter for them, so you can adjust them. But uh, I I'll skip this uh, uh, step. Okay, so and then place another point. Draw on work plan. Set work plan. Pick uh, pick this vertical work plan and place it on the point. So now this time you can drag it uh, so this way. So it will be a vertical, but that's okay. So maybe negative 150. So another one, draw on word plan, set to word plan, pick this uh, vertical word plan and place it on the point. Same, negative 150. So now we have this one, two, three, four. And then we need to um, lift up, lift these points. So we need to place points so we can offset. Uh, these two will be fine. Uh, uh, I'll just uh, leave them there. So we need to <coughs> lift this one. So place another point, join work plan. So pick the horizontal work plan, place it on the point. Once again, another one, and I place it on it. And then select this point, drag it up. This one, drag it up. So select these two points. So let's just type in a number. So for example, <coughs> maybe 30. Okay. So now let's have a look so if i select these two create a spline make a reference line and another two make reference line and then if i select these two reference line and create a form so we have this option so create this uh, uh, face so now if i create a new um let's just create a conceptual mass okay so and in this mass, I'm going to draw a reference line, and I'll set um, work plan. So I'll place, I'll pick this vertical work plan, and then I'll just draw a line, draw a line uh, in the middle. Okay, so here. So now I'll roughly get um, some idea of the 
the size. So I'll just copy this to, I guess I'll make it uh, roughly, uh, for example, two meter, two meter. Okay, so another one, two meters. So now I know this is roughly two meter. And then uh, we can create a, another reference line. So roughly the shape of that structure. So I think something like this. Okay, so now we can delete this one. And for this one, we need to, let me try. Yeah, it works. So now this is the shape. And then we can just create divided surface and then change this to maximum space, maximum space, so we can adjust these grids. Okay, so for this one, uh, U grid um, 300 or maybe oh, no, 900. Yeah, so these are the vertical one. And this one, I'll change this these to 300. So I think I'm going to use these uh, for the panel size. Okay, so now I'll go back here, load this one into here. So select this divided surface and then change that to this. Okay, so now we can see they are all flat face. So we'll see all flat and they are all um, intersect to um, each other. So this is not, this is not good. So what we're going to do is we need to roughly adjust these panels. Okay, so okay, so let's go back to this family. So I'm going to adjust one side. So for example, this side, I'm going to lift them up. Okay, so I'll delete this first. And then for this one, so I'll, I'll dissolve this reference line and dissolve this reference line. So we need to create a new one. Oh, actually, uh, here, we can control the, uh, we can keep this one. We just need to create a new one because I'm, I'm going to place another point on this point. So draw a point, draw a work plan, set to a plan, pick this horizontal work plan and place it on the point. So I'm going to move this up. So I guess 20 mil and okay. So because I want this panel to be the same, I need to lift this up as well. So because this one's 30, so this one's 30, so this one need to be 50, I think. So now, once again, create a reference line from these two points and with these two, and let's create a form again, create a face, load this back, overwrite. Okay, so at least this time, so you will see this panel, one of the panel. So this panel covers the one next to it. Okay, so it looks better, but uh, still because they are all flat, um, no, not good. So let's try to make them, you know, curved. Okay, curved. Okay, so go back once again. I'll just delete this face. So now we have this straight line. So to create, to make it curve, so we can just play, draw a point, draw on face, place it in the middle. So once again, another one here in the middle. So and place a point, draw on word plan, set to a plan, pick the horizontal, so tab, this one, and place a point on this point. Again, set to a plan, tab, and place another point on this point. And then select this point, um, you can just drag it down. Okay, so because we can rotate this by 180 degree, so it will go up. So at least we have this a positive uh, number. It's it's easier. It's better, I think. <clears throat> 180. So now we have these two points. So I'm going to just uh, type in a number. So maybe 15. So with one, two, and three points, we can create a curve. Okay, so, and once again, one, two, and three, create a, a curve. So now with these two reference line, so this one and this one. So actually, so if you use these two reference line, you will create a face. Okay, so there's no thickness, but actually you can do is you can, you can select these two. So one and also the straight line and also this one. So you can actually create a panel. So maybe we can use this one. Okay, so let's load this into the project. Okay, 
look it looks better but still if you look from the side so from the side so for example here so you will see it's straight if you look at these the panels so it's curved um, uh, uh, how do I say horizontally but uh, vertically they are straight so let's go back to, so we can we can make this curved as well so we just need to add another uh, profile so <clears throat> so actually it's the easiest way because we know that this these are the same 300 by 900 let me try this so if select this uh, solid and you can actually add profile in the middle so roughly I'll just place it roughly place it here and then you can select this profile let me just select the profile so select uh, hang on. yeah oh no no this one yeah it's a bit hard to yeah this one and also I want to select this straight uh, line as well so now we have two selected so let me try if I move use my keyboard yeah, so you can move it up to make it uh, a little bit curved. Okay, so now let's load this into the mess. But so you will see here's some issue. Okay, so because the profile we created, it won't change. So it will keep the same size. So but relative to, to the grid here, it's too small. And then go up here, it's too big. See? The, it's same width so um, yeah actually it looks quite nice <laughs> but if you want to if you want this width uh, to follow the the width uh, you know uh, to match the width I, I don't think you can um, do it this way so let's just delete that uh, hang on, let me just delete that oh. How do I delete it? Delete? Yes. Okay, so now let me just dissolve this uh, uh, solid. And then we just need to create another profile in the middle. Okay, so point and this point, create a spline reference line. And then once again, so this one and this one spline and reference line so point draw on face sm snap middle sm snap middle so select these uh, here so with this point place another point draw on word plan set word plan pick the horizontal word plan place it on the point so once again another one so tap tab and place so now select these two and we can give it an offset so for example 20 mil and then with these two points selected and create a spline make it reference line and another point draw a face middle and another point draw on word plan and tab tab and place it on the point so now select this point so I just want to match the this one which is 15 so I just type in 15 so all these offsets so you can create parameter so you can control them in the mass but i'll leave it i'll leave it for, to uh, leave it to you okay so create a spline and a reference line so now we have another profile in the middle slightly higher than these two so now we can we can create so one two so let uh, i'll just create solid with them so create a form so this is the panel okay so now load this into the uh, mass and override so now you will see all these panels and it's it's slightly curved from the side and also you can always adjust so how much um, it offset so the gap here how much you know that this curve need to be um, yeah I think that's that's it and also um, so this is a little bit boring you can make some you know have different length so what you can do is go back here so you just need to so see these two 
points so here we have this offset which is negative actually so let me just select these two points and then rotate them by 180 degree okay so we can have uh, where uh, this one we can have this point uh, uh, have a positive number so if we prefer to have positive number and once again I'll select these two points let's see rotate them by 180 degrees and also looks like this one need to be rotated it back to zero okay so all good yeah so now all the most I think most of the offset except this uh, except this one this one's still negative but most of these are positive now so now select these two points uh, offset positive just create a parameter so we can call it uh, L for example L uh, so actually it's an offset not L um, instance okay okay so load this back into the project overwrite okay so uh, okay so let's ignore that one so <laughs> just save some time okay so it's fast uh, we don't need to do the whole thing yeah I think it's all good so now because there is a instance parameter here so you can change them so if you're typing so you, you can make them longer or shorter so whatever you like okay so 200 oops this one and then of course you can now you can you know play some uh, dynamo so I'll just quickly show you so when I'm a dynamo and you can do let's quickly do it okay so Revit selection family type family type okay so all elements of family type go F family 7 link right click set parameter and element link to element parameter which is a uh, double click L the name of the parameter link value I'm going to use a uh, 50 minimum uh, 200 maximum every um, um, 0 0.2 so I need to make sure so that's enough in this list so six we oh two, that's too much two six seven hundred um, maybe two every two 76 yes yeah, enough so right click so we need to shuffle it okay so just shuffle it and then oh actually let me try so if I if I don't shuffle what do we have okay so you can't see it's actually uh, uh, maybe just shuffle it and link that too so you will have some you know different length for you know even it's not um, maybe let's try 10 to 10 to uh, 300 more difference more yeah something like this okay so um, that's it so uh, if you have any question please let me know I'll see you next time thank you